If you need Madden 21 coins for anything, make sure to go to buymuckcoins.com. Also, use my code MMG30 or FREE40 for the best holiday deals. It's on her face! Luna, do my intro! Uh, do the oh, watch, out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Alright, so wish me good luck on Okay, that's actually a really good point. Don't Google Don't Jewel Not Cool merch because it's all fake sites. If if you guys are still buying this merch, it's completely fake. It's from some random site who's trying to rip me off. It's actually so whack. I've had to send cease and desist orders to like 200 different websites. Also, I don't know if you guys saw my tweet, but yeah, I'm not staying in LA. I'll go back for four months to finish out my lease and come back to Michigan after that. And then I think I'm going to Arizona. So I might become a Kyler Murray bandwagon fan. I don't know, we'll have to see, but. To start this episode out, I want to apologize. I said Wheel of Mutt every Monday, Wednesday, Friday in December. I didn't get you one last Monday. I fumbled a bag, I had Christmas, and then we went up north to see the rest of my family and I didn't get a wheel of mud out. It was a good time. I did fumble the bag on wheel of mud though. I'm so sorry, so I'm gonna get you a banger right now. I don't know how, I don't know what I'm gonna do to make this a super ultra massive banger, but I'm gonna find a way. I'll leak Bailey's only fans for you guys. Let's make Baby Pants found her new favorite toy. It is My Bailey's sock. sock. My sock. Go get them, baby she pants. She only likes it because I'm it. She likes the scent. She likes the scent of a good toe. Sit. Girl. Don't do it to her again. Don't do it to her again. <laughs> That's abuse. Uh, Bailey, you wanna do my first wheel spin? Huh? You wanna do my first wheel spin? What's that? Hey! Literally does not watch my videos. You've never seen Wheel of Mutt. Uh, Literally my flagship series. The only reason I'm relevant. I'm not mad. If you made girl TikTok YouTube videos, I would watch me. <gasps> Baby pants spotted! Oh my god! Oh, this is gonna be the most fire, but please, 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 please. <gasps> Dude, it was, it was almost a Did you see so that? Weird. Hey, IRL pack jackpot. Ah, can I do that right now? Do I have an IRL pack? Here's how we're doing this. This was from the Panini Prism opening that me and Connor did. So this is all of the cards. It's actually really cool. I just put these in here just for storage, really. These are all the cards that are not like the insane, like signed or like holographic ones. I'm just gonna have you pick 10. Uh, how many are in a pack? Eight? There are eight in the other packs. Pick eight of these, okay? But you can't look, just randomly. Okay. Zadarius Smith. Yeah, I know this guy. Todd Gurley. Hey, yeah, he used to be a Ram. That's why. <laughs> Do we bring him back, Khalil Mack? We actually could. I probably won't, but we actually could. So Todd Gurley, Khalil Mack, Zadarius Smith. I can choose one out of these. What do you got? Jonathan. Oh, damn. Jonathan Ogden. He has a 93 overall. That's like a super old player. L. L season. You two are gross matos. Zach Moss helped out my fantasy team in a very bad pinch, although I don't think he has a good card. Seven is the Boz. I don't think the Boz has a card. So we need one more. Uno Moss. <laughs> like us doing absolutely anything. Oh, I know him too. Got a good one. Oh, another rim. I have been told I look like this man. Although I think he's a lot more attractive than me. Cooper Cup. I can take one, the absolute best version out of Cooper Cup, Brian Bowser, Zach Moss, Yatour Gross Matos, Jonathan Ogden, Clomac, Todd Gurley, Zadarius Smith. Okay, I'm gonna go on Mulhead. We're gonna see what my options are here. Thank you so much. Great job. Great job, gals. All right, let's start. Todd Gurley. So Todd Gurley has a 94 overall limited edition. That's pretty awesome, but I have some good halfbacks on this team. We already know that. I do have solid wide receivers too, but Cooper Cup has a 92 overall limited edition. Okay. I would say Clomac is the best pickup, but I have some crazy news, so I can't actually do that. I think that the best pickup, weirdly here, is gonna be 93 overall Jonathan Ogden. I have not been working on my offensive line. I got 77 Bobby Massey in there. I know I'm never gonna work on my offensive line. I think I pick up Jonathan Ogden right now, just so that down the line, I make sure I have something locked in there because I'm so stupid about delaying that every single time. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna pick up Ogden. And you probably already know why I'm not taking Khalil Mack, but if you don't, you'll see here in a few seconds. Also, if Ogden has a power up, I can get that too because this is a jackpot. It's expensive, but he's got one. All right, so I'm subbing Jonathan Ogden in right now. It takes my team to an 86 overall. Wow, we're doing our second wheel spin. And our second wheel spin is going to be a zero chill. Oh, it's the hero fantasy pack. Yes. 
Damn! I kept getting the Zero Chill Fantasy Packs, and they were honestly cheeks. So I'm really excited to get a Fantasy Pack that's actually going to do something for me here. All right, I got my Snow Zero Chill Hero Fantasy Pack. I believe I just get to pick out of all of them. So no matter what, I'm going to have a really good option here. Uh, this is actually going to be a really hard choice now that I think about it. You guys are going to be really confused when I pick here, I think. I think the best pick here is George uh -huh. Kittle. Dude, I was talking about it so much with that Anthony Ferkser. I was saying I need a legitimate tight end on this team. We've got Anthony Ferkser 80 overall starting. Now, to be honest, I really want to take Minka and I really want to take Malcolm Jenkins. I really want to take one of those two, but I have to take George Kittle. This George Kittle is so good and I need a legit tight end. I throw to the tight end so much. We get 93 overall George Kittle and this has become a very important episode to when I got 293 overalls on the line here. This is big. Now, if you remember last episode, I got five undisclosed presents and I did not get very lucky. I only got two medium and three small. What you're seeing here is for a different pack opening. I got a ton of presents so I can open them all after Christmas. You will see that soon. But I have two medium presents and three small presents. This is what I can open for Wheel of Mutt. So here's one of the medium presents. I still don't know what's in these. I haven't checked. I think that's out of position, right? I get... <laughs> I get Ocho Cinco Kicker, which I actually would be really funny to use. Okay, you know what? That's going to be my new starting kicker. I might start shanking kicks a little bit more. But also, if I run some fakes where the kicker gets the ball, like the kicker gets in his hand to throw it, that actually could be nasty because he's got 89 speed. <laughs> Wait, I didn't think about this at all. That could be really good. Okay, that's pretty good. Our second medium present is... Holy shit, we are gonna run fakes like absolute madmen. Wait, this is so good. You know that challenge where I have to do a fake punt for a first down? That's actually so good. The two medium presents were a lot more clutch than I expected. I love to see that. Now I have three small presents. A small present is a player. Rashad Perriman. I don't expect much. It's a small present, but hopefully this is like 81 plus overall. So I at least have a shot at something good. Zach Cunningham, also trash. And our last small present is... What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Hey, wait a second. That might be a better left tackle than what I have in right now. It is. I currently have John Hanna in at left tackle, so Colton Miller's gonna be a little bit better over there. And now here is the big reveal. So, as you guys know, I prestiged Jamal Adams, yes? What if I told you I'm taking this Jamal Adams out and I'm putting Xavier Woods at my strong safety? You'd say, well, that doesn't make any sense at all, Matt. You're an idiot. I would say yes, except Jamal Adams has an out of position, 95 overall right outside linebacker card, which really isn't even out of position. This man basically plays linebacker already. So if you guys have been watching me on defense, Jamal Adams is always a linebacker. He doesn't actually play up at safety. He's always a linebacker. Now, if you're worried that this Jamal Adams isn't going to get reps, number one, he's a 97 overall at sub linebacker, which I don't even know why, but that's really, really cool. Jamal Adams is going in at my right outside linebacker. He's going to be on the field at all times at sub linebacker. And then Xavier Woods and Marcus May are up here on top. Now, that's why I was saying I almost wanted to take a strong safety instead of George Kittle because this Jamal Adams is getting moved here. But I'm just going to have to live with it. That's kind of scary. I need a new strong safety. Absolutely. If next episode, if I can finesse a strong safety, this team is going to be disgusting. All right, so I have one ability point that I can put on Jamal Adams. Does he get edge threat? Holy shit. I'm not gonna use edge thread on him, but that's really cool that he gets it. Secure tackler, stonewall, reach elite. None of these are that good. I'll be honest. He does get film study though at 99 overall, which is where you can see the, the, the play that the other person's calling. I'm just gonna give him unfakeable so he has something. I think it'd be silly not to have my best, one of my best defensive players have an ability. All right, so our defense now, JJ Watt, Aaron Donald, Jamal Adams, Xavier Woods, Marcus May, Deion Sanders, Xavier Rhodes, Danzo Ward. That looks awesome. We got a ton of Christmas players on here. I love to see that. And then uh, we added Colton Miller and George Kittle and Jonathan Ogden on the offense. Cute. Huge, huge game coming up. And of course, how could I forget? We got Ocho Cinco at kicker and Roethlisberger at punter now. This is going to be really fun. I'm actually also going to make Ocho Cinco kickoff specialist. If somebody starts to break off a kick return, there's a decent chance Ocho Cinco can track him now. That's pretty nice. All right, up next is the challenge wheel. I'd love to get a pack here so I can pull a strong safety by like pure chance. That would be pretty awesome. Do I get kick? No, not this. Yes. Yes! One of my players needs a minimum of these stats. So at least five receptions, at least 100 yards, at least one touchdown. They need all three. Fantasy football trifecta. One hour later. All right, 
right, boys, let's get it. I missed the top three, but honestly, this deep in the season, I don't think I really want to see it. I don't want to see some dude's 99 overall Randy Moss. I need five receptions, 100 yards, and a touchdown. I said I would try it with the brand new Kittle, so why don't we start the game off? Nah, he's not open. And I just, I did not start. Oh, okay, Dalvin. <sighs> Okay, guys, let's not start the game like that. Yes, I also changed. It's the same day. I forgot I had a podcast, so I need to change for the podcast. And now I'm in a different outfit. All right, second and 12, prime time, prime time. Now we just gotta get you some receptions, baby. Now we just gotta get you some receptions. Oh, no, what, 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 what? I didn't do that. No, I did not do that. I did not do that. I'm serious. I did not mean to do that. Okay, out route, prime time. Hey, you know what? I'll get him an extra reception. Actually, I'm a genius. Oh, he ran, come here! Genius. Actually a genius. And now, Ocho Cinco can throw this ball to George Kill. Oh wait, okay, so playmaker, playmaker, dot, dot! <laughs> That's nasty! I smell a rage quit, bro. This is big. Don't you dare throw underneath. Ah, how'd you get that off? All right, we're gonna send a schmeter, a heater schmeter off the right side. And I'm gonna pick you off in the middle of the field because you're dumb. Ah, I didn't throw it. Hey, this is a rage quit. There's no way you played this out, bro. Yeah, that's a rage quit. You'd be so idiotic not to rage quit here. I technically could complete this Dion challenge. Oh no, I can't. He has 80 yards right now. The max I can get here is 15. I'll just get another touchdown with him. I think I've thrown an exact touchdown probably 200 times in my life. Doug, please quit. Please turn your Xbox off. He's gonna run the ball and get solid yardage. All right. Screamer, screamer off the right side. And then Adams just picks up the slack. He's gonna run it again to Melvin Gordon, who's just hanging out there on the pile. I think he thinks he's found something here. Where are you gonna throw? Holy shit. Dude, and Xavier Woods is slow. Oh, it's Xavier Rhodes. Thank you, prime time. I almost just got scored on by a, a literal bomb. Second and goal, he is gonna run an RPO and one man to make a tackle. <sighs> That's a ward. Third and goal. Come on, right in my face, right in my face. He's gonna get a field goal. He's gonna get a field goal, damn it. I mean, if I'm him, I can go for a fake here, but I'm gonna, ru I'm gonna rush it anyway. I need to try and stop the points, damn it. Well, the good thing about him not rage quitting, at least right, right now, is that I can complete my challenge. I'm just gonna go prime time underneath. I'm gonna throw him a little dinky one. Easy. And that should be 100 yards. All right, prime time deep. This should be challenge complete. If my numbers are right here. Oh shit, he's not open. Wait, am I bad? Dude, you're not gonna return this. Just go out of bounds. This is a massacre. Fourth and 13, he is going for it. There is no shot in hell he gets it. You're not. Oh, you did not. Oh my God, dude. I'm so over it. I feel like I'm playing a computer. This guy's like so like monotonously bad. All right, we're blitzing. Blitzing these dudes. Jamal Adams just gotta lock up. Yup. Oh no, he throws a dot. What is going on? I'm just gonna go cover two man actually. Cause I feel like I can kind of bully this guy. No, step up, step up. Oh my God, you guys are idiots. I'm so mad. This guy is so fucking bad and he has 10 points on me. Although I will say he gave me a little too much time on this clock. Step up and go out of bounds, Russell Wilson. One final play here, three seconds left. Let's see if we can just drop one over the top to prime time. It would be a, it would be a bit of a hit. Oh my God, what are you running, bro? This is why I'm embarrassed. This is why I'm embarrassed he has 10 points on me. I'm serious. <sighs> well, I completed my, that's gotta be challenge complete. 100%, 100% gotta be challenge complete. Third and three, let's see what he wants here. Looking for a slant, he throws underneath. Oh. My. God. What? I can't make that throw with anybody. What? This is one of the weirdest games I've ever played. I know I'm not gonna lose, I just don't, I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna go over Xavier Woods again, fourth and nine. Oh, I think he's running a slant out of Larry Fitz. No. Hey, we turned him over, you guys. Let's go. 
Dude, this blocking is insane. This is what pain when people feel like when they play against my 85 overall team. Like, look at that shit, bro. That's insane. All right, second and 50. He is at this point, he's run committing. Dalvin could just tackle himself. Good shit. Hopefully he lets me continue to chew clock. All right, good. We're gonna cut this back. Get just the first. I think I might've got just the first down. Ooh, fourth and one. If I can finesse getting this first, but not the touchdown, damn it. That would've been cool. Hopefully he doesn't try to mount something here. Well, that works too. Ooh. God damn! How did he come up with that? Did he want he in that? I'm actually so sad I didn't get that guy to rage quit because I can't get you another game now because then I'd have to do two more wheel spins and it's gonna throw everything off. So I'm gonna have to open my challenge wheel pack right now and end this episode off, but we lock in Jonathan Ogden and George Kittle, so that's pretty awesome. I get any pack of my choice, any coin pack of my choice that is. I think I'm gonna go zero chill fantasy and hopefully I can actually get a really good pull out of this. Okay, pack went to Narnia. All right, boys, wish me luck. We got Zach Ertz. That doesn't help me at all. Uh, that's not gonna help me, there's no way. But wow, that actually, <laughs> I'm such an asshole. That might help me. I don't know who my right guard is right now, but there's a chance. Jack Conklin, John Randall, and our zero chill player. Mike McGlinchey, I just, wait, who's my D tackle? I do not have a D tackle. The John Randall's the best pick here. McGlinchey would be good, but I have like one of the best right tackles in the game. All right, Wheel of Mud team is at 88 overall. We lock in that George Kittle. We got this Jamal Adams at outside linebacker. Hey, I'm sorry for missing that upload, boys. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching as always. I love you, boys. Peace.